We are on a weather alert today. Denver finally got some snow accumulation. This is Wash Park earlier today, and it clearly did not keep people inside. As you can see, runners and dog walkers staying active in the cold weather, even some wearing shorts. Look at that. A group of women who called themselves the Denver Divas didn't miss a beat getting to run this morning. And we uh, run no matter what the weather is, and we love it. I love running in the snow. I lived in Minnesota for seven years, so I ran in every kind of weather there. But this is gorgeous. Well, the women could not stop gushing about the snow's beauty, but take a look at Floyd. The chili dog was still shivering through that puffy, but it looks like a warm jacket. And this was earlier this morning, some gigantic flakes hitting the CBS4 building rooftop. Great to see after more than 200 days without it. We really need it up. And cleanup is still underway on a rollover crash. It is on the westbound C470 off ramp to Santa Fe Drive. South Metro Fire has been on the scene all morning long. Diesel spilled onto the road, so it will take a while to clean up. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The cause of the crash is still under investigation, but South Metro says they are dealing with very icy conditions. Thanks for joining us on CBSN Denver. I'm Michelle Griego, DIA officially recording three tenths of an inch of snow this morning. And our Michael Abetha has been there all morning long. Michael, it is good to see snow on the ground there. Yeah, Michelle, you know, that means that we will not tie that record for latest snowfall and the snowfall drought out here is over, even though it's really not much snow. As you can tell behind me, DIA just really got a little bit of a dusting. Anybody who was parked here had to dust off their windshields, dust off their cars if they were parked here overnight, working to make sure this airport is functional overnight. But, you know, DIA didn't even have to bring out their cat here that they use to shovel off the parking garage roof. So a little, just a little bit of snow, but enough to say that we got our first official snowfall at DIA in enough for me to put on my I Love Snow beanie to celebrate the first snow of the season. At DIA, Michael Aretha covering Colorado first. I was going to say, I love that beanie. It looks pretty good. All right, Michael. Yep, thanks so much. And meteorologist Chris Spears is in Colorado's Weather Center. And Chris, I know you're excited for the snow. Yeah, and I'm a little bit jealous. I need a beanie. Hint, hint. Christmas is coming up, Michelle and Michael. Uh, so as you saw just now in the report, 0.3, three-tenths of an inch of snow. The definition for measurable snow is a tenth of an inch. And before today, we have had three days with flurries at the airport, but the flurries never accumulated to that tenth of an inch criteria. So finally... We have had that first official snowfall of the season. Look at this picture here from the mountain camera. Uh, sun's already peeking through. That system quickly departing our region, and we will see snow come to an end. The snow stake at uh, Crested Butte, you can barely make it out there. It is just about buried. They are checking in with just around two feet of fresh snow at the Butte. Uh, I want to show you a few more snow totals here. 25 inches Purgatory, 20 at Powderhorn, 15 Telluride, 13 Aspen Mountain, 10 in Steamboat, 4 in Winter Park. But let me tell you, these totals are from 5 a.m. Many of these uh, numbers probably a bit higher, maybe even by as much as 5, 6, 7 inches. So uh, we will get some official totals here once everything wraps up. In Metro Denver, the snow is primarily over with. We're starting to see the sun peek through. Uh, in the foothills, some pockets of flurries. You really have to go all the way down into Douglas County and now toward Colorado Springs to pick up uh, the heavier snow. I'll zoom in and just give you a quick little radar tour here. As far as Metro Denver, if we had to identify a trouble spot, it's that 285 corridor. Once you climb away from 470 and on your way to Conifer, you will run into some uh, snow still falling at a pretty good clip there and some icy snow-packed roads. Douglas County, Castle Rock, Parker, you're just about to wrap things up as everything shifts on to the south and east. That is all now down into Colorado Springs. Uh, I'll widen out the view for you. Colorado Springs there getting some snow. In the high country, if you were to look at this radar here from the uh, regional view. You may say, well, Chris, it looks like it's over with in the high country. There's still snow up there. It's just so light radar not really picking it up. The heavier band, as you see there on the plains, goes from Pueblo through Colorado Springs on up to outside of Sterling. And that's going to quickly pull away uh, as the storm departs. I think the Weather Service will allow these advisories to drop early, but as of now, we're still going through 6 p.m. The pink, a winter storm warning. The purple, a winter weather advisory. 
I'm going to lower those totals here. Uh, instead of three to seven inch, I think additional amounts of one to four and a couple of places could still see up to six. So we'll make that edit on our graphic for the next time we see you. With the new snow on the little bit of old snow we had combined with all of the wind, we are looking at the potential for an avalanche cycle and the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says particularly dangerous conditions exist, especially on northern slopes. So you know what that means if you're a user of the backcountry. Uh, definitely use caution. Now the story turns to a very cold night and a windy day ahead. High wind watch in the foothills on Saturday. Gusts could approach 70. This will be a westerly wind direction that will warm us up. But for today, very chilly. These morning snow showers just about to wrap up. We'll go over to a mix of sun and clouds hanging in the 30s. That's not too bad. You can get out and come through the drive through toy drive. We can't wait to meet you. Two King Supers locations there, Lakewood and Denver off of Hampton, 12 to 7. Many of us from CBS4 will be there to take your donation. Uh, so tonight, single digits and teens, a cold night ahead. Warming trend starts on Saturday, 45 degrees. And uh, Michelle, 50 uh, for Sunday into Monday, even 60 showing up by Tuesday. That Broncos game looking mighty fine if you plan to go on Sunday. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, Chris, thanks so much.